welcome back. This is the Corn Quest Thanksgiving Special. Today's episode is a special drinking game edition, so make sure to take a drink every time there's a flashback. Have fun, and happy Thanksgiving. Hello, Internet, and welcome to Turkey Heist. Foul intentions. <laughs> Just like that. We are the Heroes of Corn Quest podcast, an actual play podcast series. We have our main game, The Tales from Storm City, along with our other fun one shots. Y'all can find us on Instagram using the handles at Corn Production and at Corn Quest Podcasts. Or you can go over to Patreon and support us at Corn Productions. My name is Michael, I use they, them pronouns, and I will be your game master. Today, on this very special Thanksgiving episode, we will be playing Honey Heist, written by Grant Howitt, but with some turkey seasoning. And I am joined by our lovely cast, including... Hi, I'm Pete Cullen Ryan, uh, he, him pronouns. I'm playing Tom Quilliams, also he, him pronouns. My name is Timothy Swaim, uh, they, them, and tonight I will be playing Hook. Master Hacker. Hi, my name's Olivia Seek, she, her, and I will be playing Tammy Featherstone, she, her. Hi, I'm AC Rakutinian, they, them, and I'm playing Franklin, he, him. Hi, I'm Brittany McHugh, she, her, hers, and I am playing our driver, Jan, or Jean, if you want to be French about it, <laughs> she, her, hers. And so, without further ado... Sit back, relax, and enjoy. <sighs> Once upon a time, in the beautiful Fay State Forest, there lived a family of turkeys. Now these turkeys were friends of the forest. If you mention their name to a passing squirrel or a grazing deer, you might get the reply along the lines of, Oh yeah, they're the best. They helped me find my wallet that was taken by a bear. Some would call them heroes of the forest. So it wasn't a surprise to anyone that when a new family moved in, one a bit more destructive, the forest turned to the family. Now these turkeys weren't quick to judge, but this new family was odd to say the least. They built a large nest, the likes of which that had never been seen. Two stories tall, lots of windows and doors, and a large yard. Now, if you were a human, you'd know this to be a classic mansion, styled after the late 1800s Tudor architecture, famous for its exposed wood and intricate designs. But if you're a turkey, much like the heroes of our tale, then it would appear as a strange nest. The turkeys took their time investigating and trying to greet their new neighbors, hoping to calm the fears of their many forest friends. But their curiosity was met with hostility. Barking dogs, loaded hunting rifles, and generally unpleasant attitudes. Clearly, this was a poor first impression. As the family fled the scene, an epiphany had hit Tammy. These are humans. Don't let them get you. They have a day of gratitude where they eat our kind. The sound of a loud bang could be heard as a net flew through the air and wrapped around Gerald, the most beloved of the family members, as he was dragged back to the mansion before he shouted back at them, Don't let them eat me, kids! Don't let them eat me! The family of turkeys stilled themselves. They knew what must be done. They gathered their supplies at their nest with one goal in mind. Rescue Gerald before he becomes the next day of gratitude meal. The family now stands upon the precipice of the forest. On the outskirts of the mansion, they can see this two-story tall monstrosity, along with a stone fence wrapping all the way around. There is a slight clearing of smooth grass between the forest and the tree line, about 20 feet or so. There is a long rope with a small line of cars leading into the mansion, where there is a man in blue, checking over a guest list, IDs, and questioning all who enter. Security is tight this year for this meal. And along the side of the fence, near the eastern side of the house, there is a small, well, large, greyhound, who is casually chewing on a bone, enjoying it and playing fetch with himself as he could. The heroes took this time 
to collaborate and plan. They knew the following information. One, Gerald is being held captive in the kitchen. Two, the house has tight security. Cameras, guard dogs, and even booby traps. And three, this is a large family gathering, and according to Tammy, families this large tend to have a few unknown relatives. It might be easy to sneak in. It might be easy to blend in. But that's up to their acting skills. We should burn the house down. All right, coming in hot there. Uh, uh, these humans are destructive. They killed me, my parents when I was just a young little hatch egg. Wait, these humans in particular, or just some All humans? humans are terrible. We should burn the house down. Gerard is already dead. We burn it down. We kill them all. Hey, you don't know that. I have assumptions you, you early on. You don't know that he's dead. Yeah, we gotta have hope. Yeah, let's let's calm down here. I'm the one who brought you in, remember? Remember the time we stole all those DVDs? I remember the time. I, need you, to, I need you to calm down. I brought you in to help us, not you destroy don't understand. my husband. These, these are terrible. They kill us all. They kill our kind. We must kill them. Oh, dear. I'm so, everybody, I am so sorry. Uh, I really thought that she'd be a big help to us. Uh, but this is, this is like, this is a lot. Well, you're obviously such a great judge of character, Tom. You know what, Huck? 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 Look at me. I don't need this right now. All right? My husband is in there, and I need to get him out before he's eaten. Whatever, brother stealer. <sighs> we gotta calm down. You can't be hot-headed, and that's not an idea. Tony's hot. <laughs> Heat is out of the question. Because what if the fire catches Gerald, who? How will we get into the house? Gerald is already dead. We must just kill the humans so they can't kill anyone else. What is this accent? Alright. Uh, <laughs> let's just... We'll go in, we'll get Gerald, and then we can kill the humans. Fine, but if I do not kill a human, I will kill this dog. <laughs> Aww. Okay, wow. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I'm glad at least that's your priority. There's there's a very loose cannon on this ship. Um, I really didn't think I was going to have to do this until later, uh, but I'll be right back. <laughs> and I'm going to go up and talk. I'm going to go like see if I can try to catch the dog's attention. The turkey skirted along the tree lines, ducking in between bushes before letting out the private call. <laughs> Rex, the dog guarding the entrance, looked up and started to make his way into the edge of the forest. What's up? You got the goods? Yeah, I got the goods. Deal still on. <laughs> you know it. I'm good for it. <sighs> How do I know I can trust you? You don't, you crazy son of a bitch, and that's why you love me. God damn it. You're right. I'm gonna walk back over to the Jan, come here. Side powwow. Okay, I go, I go to the side powwow. <laughs> you know, we've been friends for a long time, and yes. um, this is really hard for me to do, but my husband's in there, and I can't afford to take any chances. What are you saying? Jan, this is Rex. This is the dog. Up. Hello, dog. You Jan. saw the humans. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna push Jan towards the dog. <laughs> you see Rex. <laughs> Tom, watch Tom watches as Rex's jaw opens up and snaps tight around the neck of his beloved friend Jan. And just with a quick snap, Jan is gone. <laughs> Rex slowly drags the body <laughs> back dead. into a bush <laughs> and puts it aside before coming back, licking his lips, and he says, Tasty. All right, I'll get you a way in. Wait here. You'll with your brave blood. Yeah, grab your family and your friends. Tell me your end, grab your family and 
Tom watched as his companion Rex quickly dug a hole underneath the stone fence, leaving a wide enough tunnel that everyone could make their way in. Rex walked back up to Tom. All right, my part of the deal's done. But if you got any more turkey, I'm always hungry. Rex walks to the back of the bushes as he continues to chow down on his Thanksgiving Day meal. I turn around with like, like my eyes are dead. <laughs> I am a I am a turkey with a mission, and <laughs> I am on a war path. Did we see that happen? The heroes did not see that, as it was okay. an aside. I'm gonna okay. Then I'll go back to the group and be like, Jan had to go. I have an in now. Are those statements related? Fine. Tom. Okay. The turkeys made their way along the stone fence, following their guide, Tom, until they came to a nice sizable tunnel where they could all easily sneak into the front lawn of the mansion. Hopping in and hopping out, they made quick work of the stone fence. Now all that lay before them was the beautiful mansion. Two stories tall with plenty of windows and doors, they just needed a way in. They understood that around the perimeter, there was a car garage, there was a keeping room, a veranda, and a greenhouse. It was just up to them to choose which room to go into first. All right, where do you guys want to go? Into the house, I thought. Yeah. Are, are we not in the house right now? No. No. Oh, sorry. I'm on a war path. You are still on the front lawn. Ah. Let's go to the veranda. Okay, Tom. You make your way up to the veranda, and it's near the back of the house, uh, followed by a lovely sprawling backyard with many rose bushes, pretentious sculptures, uh, and these leaf sculpture bushes of the humans themselves. The veranda itself overlooks this place, but the balcony itself is about 20 feet off the ground. It seems there's a bit of a climb to get in this way. What would you like to do? Uh, I fly up. You see Franklin, quick as ever, flying up onto the veranda and setting in, resting there, looking downward at all of his friends. What are you waiting for? Come on up. I was kind of under the impression that our bone structure did not allow for that. Eh, wimps. I'd like to throw Huck up. Alrighty, as you are just chucking them up, go ahead and roll some turkey strength. Uh, with with that, is that with muscles? Uh, yes, it is with muscles. Oh, one of them's a one. Alright, perfect. You just pick up Huck and you calculate the perfect trajectory as you launch them upward. Huck, you let out your wings to start flapping just a little bit as you scream and you land perfectly right next to Franklin. All according to plan. It's not the worst I've ever seen. It, did it Ow. look cool? It felt cool? It was pretty well, cool. I'm glad yeah. it felt cool. You can't hear me from up here, Tom! Stop shouting. <laughs> How tall are these grass statues? Uh, the grass statues stand at about uh, 9 to 10 feet tall. Okay. I like to peck at these grass statues so they can fall at an angular level and just walk up. Alrighty, uh, go ahead and ooh. go ahead and roll turkey for some pecking. Two. Two. You go along, uh, waddling your way into the base of the bush as you just start woodpeckering your way through, and you hear that as the bush falls along the wall. 
and you have a nice, easy pathway up. Alrighty. You all make it to the veranda. No one seems to have noticed your presence yet. Uh, what you see is two doorways leading inside. The one to the south uh, leads into a large room where you see many people dressed in fine clothing as they casually have cocktails in hand, are giving small pretentious laughters at each other, and generally enjoying their wealth. You see to the east, uh, a similar room, but not quite as many people there, with a long buffet of hors d'oeuvres lining the place. And you see one very tall, pretentious man standing as he is just pointing to people and shouting different directions. Uh, he looks to be someone in charge. And then to the west, you all hear something. You hear a small pop as you see a hook hit the ground and then the sound of metal dragging as it quickly latches onto the side of the balcony. And you see a human woman stand up and do a three-point land on the veranda, looking left, looking right, and then eyebrows raised as she looks at all of you. Um, hello? <coughs> oh, you're turkeys. She says in Turkey, Hi, how's it going? What are you what doing here? What the f***? Oh. <laughs> what? I took a course in college. Huh. Who sent you? Yeah, who are you? I'm Hillary Eagleton. I'm the heir to this estate. What are you doing here? Wait, wait if, you're, if you're the heir, why are you cl climbing up the side like some kind of criminal? Because I wasn't invited this year, and I'm getting my revenge. And what is a bunch of turkeys doing here? It's pretty dangerous around these parts this time of year. You seen any other turkeys in there? Haven't been in myself, but if they're anywhere, they'd be in the kitchen. My dad always liked a large feast. How do we get to the kitchen? Well, dressed as you are, you'll be food pretty fast. But get up to the second story. That's where all the guest rooms are. Plenty of suitcases laying around. Plenty of unattended clothing. Do you have like a big sack? She cocks her head and sort of looks around at her uh, skin tight black leather suit. No, I left it at home. Would there be one in the house, maybe? Possibly, what are you using it for? Could you maybe put us in a big sack and take us there? She just sort of turns her back to you all. Hop on. You see as she aims the uh, grappling hook she has up at the second story and fires it as it pierces through a window. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. This will be fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you all hop on to her back as she just presses a button and the grappling hook starts pulling you all upward as you all slam through the rest of the window, knocking glass everywhere along the floor. She quickly goes to a closet uh, and you just see the shadow silhouette of herself as she quickly takes off the suit and puts on a long formal gown her hair falls out as she comes out, uh, now with uh, a completely different facial structure, new hairstyle and everything. She steps out. Good luck with whatever you're doing. Try not to be here in an hour. And she leaves the room. Wait, what's gonna happen in an hour? Yeah. What's gonna happen in an hour? Slams closed. So, you are in a guest room suite. You see a king-sized bed, a freshly broken window, a large wardrobe, and a few small chests, all containing clothing. And what would you all like to do? I suggest we start rifling through for disguises. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I need everyone to roll me a d6. That's a one for me. 
That's a five for me. Five. Three. One, five, five, and three. Uh, Tom, you find a nice sizable pair of jeans that you slip into. Huck, you manage to find some very stylish chinos. Uh, and Tammy and Franklin, you both find uh, sweatpants. Gray and black, respectively, to uh, comfortably make your way in. Uh, yeah, I like these. Hmm. These are comfy. I simply must ask the DM. I simply must. How, how does a turkey's body interact <laughs> with a pair of human pants? <laughs> what? Exactly as you would expect in the Looney Tunes aspect of they fit perfectly. Hmm. So, I... Uh, I feel like the more I think about this, I'm gonna hurt myself, so... Are, are my, like, big tail feathers sticking up out of the jeans? Is the Only if you want them to be. <laughs> yes. Absolutely, then. You got, it's like the plumber crack showing, but it's hmm. your tail. You all look at yourselves in the mirrors, doing a quick few turnabouts and looking at each other, and you all think, yeah, we'll pass. This is good. This is good. What's our cover story? We're here for dinner. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. We we do have an excuse to be here. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> no. I have a feeling we're going to be taking our meal. And I put on the sunglasses to go. God damn. God damn it, Tom. <laughs> Take those you know off, what, Tammy? Tom. <laughs> you know what, Tammy? I I don't I don't I don't take away your joy. Let's just save Gerald. Take away yeah, everyone's let's joy. Let's get saving Gerald. Tom. Huck. I don't have a comeback for you. Damn. Well, think <laughs> of one and we'll get back to it later. Fine. Tom. Fine, Huck. Can I just can I flash back real quick to one time when Jan and I were hanging out? <laughs> Flashback time. Oh, God, set the scene for us, Tom. <laughs> Jan and I are, are sitting around a table, uh, smoking stogies, and 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 rolling the dice, drinking whiskey, wild turkey, uh, and I'm like, you know, sometimes I feel like I can never come up with good comebacks. Oh, you know, my friend. You are the only family I have left after my parents were brutally slaughtered by humans in front of me. So I'm going to tell you something. Yes. Comebacks, it's always, I know you are, but what am I? And That's suddenly really you've turned it against themselves. And I also just want to say, as my only friend and family left in the world, yes, this I know that we share. you will never betray me. I just want to say that out there for no reason other than our bond is so strong. Yeah, I would probably never betray you. You'd never betray me. Yeah, probably. It would be a stain on your conscience yeah, forever. It'd be very unlikely I would do that. <laughs> yes, I just want to say that. All right. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> I look at Huck and I say, I know you are, but what am I? <gasps> That's Jan's comeback. I can't retort or it would disgrace her memory. That's a good comeback. <laughs> Thomas, you win this argument. <laughs> Go ahead and move a point from Turkey into criminal. You win this round. Tom! I know you are, but what am I? You can't do it twice in a row. I know you can't, but what am I? <laughs> Ooh, harsh. You open up the door into the hallway. And you look down, and it's a pretty easy central corridor. The top floor layout is not that intricate. What you do notice, though, is a few security cameras watching this hallway. You can tell that guards have their eyes around this place. No matter where you are, someone's going to be watching. Security cameras, you say. I think perhaps it's time... To enter the in turkey net. Um, I'd like to hack the security cameras. Alrighty. Uh, what are you trying to do to them? 
Turn him off. Alrighty. Uh, Go so, ahead and roll for uh, yeah, roll for criminal yeah. and add your hacker. I take out my my hacking tools uh, in my one beak hand. I have my TA84 calculator. In the other, I have a Nintendo 64 controller, and uh, it goes all like Matrix, and there's just binary code flying around my head. As I match, I get a three. Binary. <laughs> I hate when he's funny. I don't like it when you're funny, Tom. <laughs> you launch up the cord that sinks into the camera as the red light blinks and then fades out as the camera itself seems to sink down. One camera down. You guys make your way through the hallway until you find this grand staircase overlooking a circular room with double staircase heading downwards into a fine point. In this room, you see a grand, beautiful foyer. There are massive family portraits. You see one giant man standing as he dauntingly has his hands on two females. You notice one to be Hillary. The other one seems to be an older woman as well. And on either side flanking them, there is one more younger woman, probably about in her 20s, and a gentleman as well. Young, but in his 30s about. Within this room itself, you see the front doors opening up into the lawn where a few guests are coming in as butlers announce them over the loudspeaker. You see another door heading into a dining room with just the most beautiful long table set up. And then you also see doors leading back into the sitting room and also one heading back into this grand ballroom where everyone is dancing around. Where would you like to head? What do you think, Dad? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of peckish. I think uh, <sighs> we should head to the, to the kitchen. Also, anyone got any feed? Yeah. You hungry? Yeah. Okay, let's quick food break. I, I'm gonna throw some feet at the ground, and I'm gonna I'm gonna peck at the feet with my dad. <laughs> Family bonding time. Family bonding time. <laughs> As you both bond and uh, feed on the feed, go ahead and move a point from criminal into turkey. I suggest we go towards that dining room. Dining rooms are connected to kitchens, right? Sense. Is anything else about humanity? Yeah. You head into the dining room, and here you see a few people. Uh, a few guests just kind of lounging about, wine in hand, hors d'oeuvres, and you see guests furiously setting up the table. As you start to make your way back to the kitchen, one of the servants comes up to you all. Uh, excuse me, uh, please don't go back into the kitchen. We are very busy in there, and this is going to have a lot of heavy traffic flow. Uh, but please, entertain yourself in the library or the Grand Master Suite. Just not here, please. I grab any glass that's around and go, Gravel, 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 Uh, if you're looking for a refresher, uh, try the library's bar. Uh, plenty of cocktails there for you. I start walking towards the kitchen. Uh, they put their hands on you and start dragging you back. Okay, can someone help me with the drunk uh, uncle? Oh. While they're distracted, is there a, there is there an opening to get in, get through to the kitchen? Yeah. Uh, yes, there is an opening to get into the kitchen. All right, here we go. Yeah, let's use our speed. Fantastic. Speed, the speedy turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the three of you just <laughs> book it past the guards as you leave Franklin behind. You make your way into the kitchen, and it's as the butler was describing. It is a madhouse in here. You see servants going every which way as they are cutting vegetables, polishing glasses, pouring wine, setting up the hors d'oeuvre station. And at the very center island of the kitchen counter, you see a large cage with Gerald stuffed in it. 
He's very much so alive, but is currently bound and gagged as he is looking around, uh, head constantly going about. He looks scared, but alive. Gerald! Huh? Oh, we lock eyes, and I flash back to our first time meeting. <laughs> Jan was there. <laughs> yep. Apparently. Jan introduced was. us. <laughs> so, anyway, this is Gerald. He's also a turkey. I thought you two would make a good couple because you are also a turkey and you are my only friend who would never betray me. Yeah, that's. Yeah. For sure, whatever. Wow, you're a turkey. We we have so much in common. <laughs> Gobble. Yeah. You know, I, I really like the way the light bounces off your. Your, the, the red thing that hangs off of our necks. I don't know if we have a word for it. Um, cause I'm wild turkey. <laughs> what's the, what's the name of the red thing that bounces off of our neck? Gullet? Oh. The gullet? I the don't gullet? know. A <laughs> waitress it... walks by. It's a gullet. <laughs> a gullet. Thank you, waitress. Gullet. Oh, that is very good. Thank you, waitress. Wow. I, I hope that that information comes in handy someday. <laughs> I don't, I, oh, I don't I'm know. I'm sure it will. I, I really like the way the light bounces off your gullet. Well, thank you. You are a smooth talker. Thank My, you. This is getting intense. I think I will go stand in that corner over there and silently watch. Thank you. You're my best friend and I would never betray you. <laughs> you are my best friend and you will never betray me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, are you, uh, are you... Are you free, uh, tur- Thursday? That's, that's like every day for turkeys. Thursday, but it's turkey day. Tur- Turks, Thursday. Um, oh, I'm, I'm just sorry. gonna come I'm... over. That was not smooth. <laughs> he is asking you what's on the date, Gerald. Um, I wasn't like, My whole face. <laughs> all my feathers are red. <laughs> Another waitress walks by. I'm so sorry for my friend. It, it's called Waddles. And you know what? <laughs> They, it's a form of attraction. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, it like swells up when we're attracted to a turkey. I mean, it's, it's huge. Oh, it's expanding. <laughs> wait, is there a waiter in the flashback? Or did a person <laughs> say that the in the now? flashback. <laughs> wow. I, I'm gonna. I guess I, the only thing to do is for me to, to for me to take this knife and and put it on my person for later if I ever need it one day. <laughs> Gerald grabs your hands and holds them up to their waddle. It'll be our knife now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's weird that I'm still here. <laughs> Jan, I'm, I'm glad you're here to share this moment because yes. you and I are going to be friends forever because yes, I never you would, betray you. You would never betray me. Never. <laughs> never. And I would never betray Gerald. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> As we cut back into the kitchen, you have the knife on you and you can move a point from turkey into criminal. What is everyone else doing? I am scanning the kitchen. This, this is a DM question. Does the cage have like a need a key to open it? Uh, you notice that it has a uh, large, large iron bars surrounding it, and at the center of one of the sides is a keypad. Okay. Uh, you do also notice that um, with the amount of servants in this room, uh, the security is very, very tight in here, and there are just eyes everywhere. And you notice that the man from the painting and the man standing in the uh, appetizer or d'oeuvre chamber, same person, watching the kitchen mindfully and is the one shouting at the cooks to keep up the pace, chop the vegetables more finely, bring out more caviar. Caviar isn't code for something to do with turkeys, right? From what I remember, they are snails. Snails. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. I ate a snail once. Yeah, what was it like? I got really sick. Oh. Oh. 
I'm really tempted to do a flashback right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you really want to do it, <laughs> do it. Was Fuck. Jan there with you? <laughs> I flashback. Uh, I'm like a baby chick. Was Jan and I'm, there? <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> Brother Gerald and acquaintance Jan, I don't feel so good. Oh dear, it looks like you ate that snail. You're going to throw up now. But it was delicious. I'm gonna slap him and say, No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Uh, Adults it's... are always right and kids are always wrong. This is correct. Now go throw up. Okay. I love you, Gerald. I sure hope no other turkeys come between us in the future. Don't worry, no others will. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I don't know. Go Jan. ahead. Guys, Jan up. sucks. <laughs> I don't. I've decided. <laughs> Jan just sucks. It's a good thing she died. <laughs> Go ahead and for a flashback, move a point from from uh, from Turkey into criminal. As you have all uh, stood there zoning out a little bit, uh, you see the man come up to you. Excuse me. Do you know who I am? I am Byron Eagleton, and what are you doing in my kitchen? Gobble 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 gobble. Of course. If you would like to gobble down some of these fine hors d'oeuvres, please make your way to the keeping area where we keep them. But please, mind the cooks. I want to pants him. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, we'll, we'll just say... This is a bit more of a fair elect, so go ahead and roll turkey. One. One. You just pull his Clans. pants down as his face turns red. Uh, oh, security! Guards, get these hooligans out of here! As he starts pulling his pants up, and you notice that guards are starting to come in from either which side. What would you like to do? All according to plan. Do you want to tell us the plan? Well, I was going to pants him, and good. then you guys were going to do something, and Gerald was going to get free. That was the plan. Oh, my God. <laughs> the guards are rushing y'all at this point, as you have proven to be not belonging here. All right, I'm going to take out the knife. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, gobble back, everybody! <laughs> So the guards that tried to uh, restrain Franklin earlier just ran away from him. Uh, Franklin's flying at 55 miles per hour towards the kitchen, which is the speed a wild turkey can fly. Ooh, that's horrific. I hate that for humankind. So Tom, you whip out your knife as you see the guards holding their guns, and frankly, you fly in so fast. Get your hands off my son! Dad, you do care! I've always cared for you, Tom. And you, <laughs> Gerald, my other son-ish. Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you're mayor, you're both my son. Oh, what? <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh, the laws aren't real family, oh. as we all know. I got really yeah. freaked out by a lot of stuff just then. At, at your wedding, <laughs> I didn't so much lose a son as I gained a son. Yeah, I that's, all that. I, I was. Yeah, you were very accepting, <laughs> and we loved that. This is a very touching family reunion, I am sure. But again. Get out of my house! As the guards... Get off of our land! <laughs> the guards are starting to swarm you and picking you all up uh, in uh, underneath the wings. Okay, uh, can I... What are you guys doing? Yes. Can I, like, 
try to muscle my way and try to snap a neck with my with my feathery wings. Go ahead and roll turkey twice because you're using muscle. Oh yes! I got a one! You just break you break their hold, quickly wrapping around them and just in a flight of feathers. You just hear their neck snap as one of the guards falls down dead. Uh, Lord Eagleton just stands there, stunned and horrified, uh, as he says, To the panic room! He runs, and he grabs the cage, and he starts dragging it away. As you notice, the entire mansion is starting to go into lockdown mode. Large iron sheets are encompassing every single window and door, and you hear the guests starting to panic. Can I grab a gun from the guy who's oh I just, whose neck I just snapped? Absolutely, and, you can. And, yeah, I'd like to do that and point it at the the others and be like, gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> like, so that they drop my friends. I grab uh, an earpiece whatever the communication device that the guards are using, and I take that. Alright, uh, first off, Tom, go ahead and roll for... Roll for turkey, because it's pretty savage. Uh, go ahead and add breaking the law. Uh, quick question, did I get a turkey point back uh, earlier? Uh, that was your... That was your second one? Yeah, so... Uh, no, because your plans are going... Your plants are going smoothly. No, mm, okay. Yeah. So I would say so, they stay constant right now. Staying constant? All right. If I happen to tie with my most, with my score, is that still a success uh, or no? Tie and lower is success. Okay, I got a two. Cool. Two. Uh, as you point the guns, the guards look around as they drop your friends, and they start going for the cage to help Lord Byron um, just start shoving and getting you guys as far away from the cage as possible. Uh, Franklin, go ahead and roll for criminal to grab, uh, sorry, roll for turkey to grab the, uh, earpiece from the guard that was holding you. Really? Woohoo! That's a three, which is below my turn. Yeah, he doesn't even care. He is too focused on his mission, so you grab it and you have the communication device now. Uh, they are out the door. Uh, it seems like they went um, through one of these southern-facing doorways. Ah, I would like to try to hack the earpiece to make it translate automatically from turkey to human and back. Yeah, go ahead and roll for hack. Uh, yeah, it. Criminal, add hack. Quick question, did I get one turkey point back from that last one? I succeeded. I got a three, and my uh, criminal was four. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start, and suddenly, everything's sounding a lot more clear for everyone in the room. Now you should be able to communicate with the humans. Does anybody, can anybody speak human? No, it automatically translates okay. from turkey oh. back to human and then back again. Tammy, you want to say something? Yeah. Uh, um, hey, hey guys. Um, where are you guys going? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have already left the room at this point. I, I thought she was talking on the earpiece, though. I'm yeah. talking in the earpiece. Oh, into the earpiece. Uh, yeah, you hear over the earpiece, head into the panic room, over... Yeah, this is like a major emergency. Oh my god, is this Chad? You never keep up with anything. I know. Over. I'm so. I'm so sorry. I I'm I'm having a day right now. Mercury is just not in the right position. And um, where is the panic room again? Oh my god! Like Mercury really is in Gatorade right now. But oh like I totally get you. Like underneath the rug in the dining room. Like you'll find oh. it there, man. Wait, oh, was that Chad? Over. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Over. Also, do you want to have brunch on Tuesday? Over. Hell yeah, man. Chilaquiles all the way. 
Uh, Over. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. Let's go to the dining room. Before we leave the kitchen, this is a kitchen. They would have a fire extinguisher, right? You would hope, but yes, they do. Can I take it? Yeah, easily. Okay. Uh, also, what kind of gun is this that I have? Just real quick. It's a handgun. It's a handgun? Cool. Yeah, don't ask me anything beyond <laughs> that. I don't gun. I need to know make and model, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> It, uh, the make is it, was, it was made and it was modeled. <laughs> the make is gun. Uh, it was made by gun people, modeled after a standard gun. <laughs> I, I do want to point out, and for the listeners, that like if you listen to our D and D show, we generally in D and D, a pretty violent game. We go out of our way not to fight things, and in this game, where we're all turkeys, we've snapped a man's neck <laughs> and acquired a gun. And you yeah. killed me immediately. Would... Uh, they don't know that, though. <laughs> I also, I would also just love to say that this was an espionage game. <laughs> <laughs> and this is on was. You know, so anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> this is like a Fast and Furious heist. It's it not. Really is. Is. It really I is. love it. Fast and turkey is. Fast and turkey in the dark night oh. is what we're doing. Jesus. Maybe I'll just redo the opening monologue. <laughs> it's a rough world between humans and turkeys. No. <laughs> Only I one must really survive. Is. It's true. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway. we've gotten a little off topic. <laughs> You all rush into the living dining room, and you can just see the rug has been folded over. The table and all its accoutrements are scattered over the floor. They are down below as you see this metal safe. Uh, this metal safe-like hatch. What would you like to do? Uh, is there anybody else in the room that we can take hostage? Uh, no, the hostages seem to have fled the scene rather well. Uh, mm. You know that they, uh, you saw them running towards either the grand room or the master sitting room. Do we know how long it's been, by the way? Because we were told that we had an hour. Uh, at this point, it's been about 15 minutes. 15 okay. minutes, okay. Yeah, it's been very fast. Hmm. And this safe has like a keypad or something? Uh, as you look around, uh, you do see a keypad, yes. Okay. Huck. How long do you think it'll take you to hack that thing? No problem. I go up to the keypad. It's like, is it numerical or is it uh, letters? Uh, yes, it is numerical. I type in uh, whatever like the numerical equivalent would be of Huck. Go ahead and roll for some hacking criminal. <laughs> Wait, really? This this has a chance of working? Oh, it God. has a chance. <laughs> it has a chance. I have good Considering that you are turning turkey language into human numerical, there is a chance. <laughs> I fucking pass. I got, a, I got a three. As you type in your name, and it works, you feel the rush come over you. Oh, you love this life so much. Go ahead and move a point into criminal. I better eat some seed very soon. As you see the safe turn green, uh, as it lifts up about an inch off the ground as you see steam just pouring out from beneath, you guys lift open the hatchway as you see a staircase leading down into the cellar below. You also see on the other side of the dining room uh, a very familiar Hillary walking in. Well... You guys made quite some good work here. Are you gonna like blow up the house? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Cool. As long as we're on the same page. Yeah. I mean, we're probably gonna blow this thing up too. Um, at some point. As long as Gerald's out. Whatever. You guys do you. She runs, uh around you guys and starts heading down into Wait, the cellar as well. before you go. What? Do you have any like loose nuts or like berries or maybe like a candy wrapper or something? She quickly looks around her person. I, I have some spare wires for bombs. 
We'll take it. Can I eat that? Why not? It's I don't know. Sweet. What's a turkey diet? Weren't you guys just by the kitchen? Aren't we in the dining room? I'm yeah, you guys vegan. are in the dining room. <laughs> yeah. Is there any food in the dining room for us? Uh, yeah, there were some uh there are some small platters of hors d'oeuvres that have scattered around the floor. What are the hors d'oeuvres? Uh, deviled eggs, uh, some some of those little tiny sandwiches without the crusts on. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm 90% sure that those eggs don't come from us, so you're good. Eggs are vegan, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go eat some deviled eggs. <laughs> Hillary runs down into the dark before disappearing. Uh, as you just chow down on some deviled eggs, go ahead and move a point back into uh, Turkey. Yay! All right, are we ready? Yeah, let's go save Gerald. Does anybody need to like remember things uh, before we go? I've got too many memories. I don't need to go there. <laughs> All right, let's go. You all rush down to the cellar. Uh, you can see that Hillary has split off um, into more of the fancy wine portion, where there is more structural support beams, as you see you're just loading on C4 onto every single column. It's a panic room slash wine cellar? <laughs> Rich people. What else do I you do while you're people. panicking? <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> these people i start pecking at the wine bottles so the corks come out and the wine all spills you just start going to town as the wine is just <laughs> spilling everywhere i'm having somewhere some of that wine. off camera you just see lord eagleton as he's like clutching his chest it's like oh my wine senses as you look down <laughs> this uh wine cellar you see this long metallic hallway where you see these small openings in the wall as these red laser beams just shoot out, crisscrossing and zigzagging everywhere, making just the most intricate pattern that you could imagine as it stretches down this long corridor. I have an idea. I saw this in a movie once. I'm gonna shoot the fire extinguisher at the lasers. Okay. Now we can see where they are. As you chuck, <laughs> the, as you chuck the fire extinguisher into the no, I shoot it. I don't <laughs> oh. throw the thing. Oh, I, I <laughs> just, again. just throws it. <laughs> <laughs> now we can see where the lasers are. <laughs> you you shoot the fire extinguisher and. Go ahead and roll for criminal on this one, actually. This is another thing that I didn't think was gonna do anything. But let's see. Uh, meat, four. Meat, alrighty. Uh, as you shoot it, uh, and the hole just bursts inside of it, the gas is fuming everywhere, and you see a thick fog slowly emerging as you do get a better handle on the already visible lasers. Go ahead and move a point into criminal as it's a plan that went off with success. Anybody feeling especially limber today? I flash back <laughs> to the day of Tom and Gerald's wedding on the dance floor when uh, everyone for some reason decided to form a pattern on the dance floor and I and my drunken pinky <laughs> plays uh, left and uh, jumped and slid through that pattern with such grace, you would not have thought that an, an, a seven-year-old turkey could have done that. Way to go, Dad! Way to go, Dad! Wait, can I call you Dad yet? You can call me Dad, son. Jan, oh. did you see that? That was so cool! <laughs> Ah, uh, she's got her face full of wedding cake. Yo, how amazing! I'm just eating this. 
I drink Coke beers <laughs> and us the jockeys say boo-hoo touche avec moi. That is what people say. Those are words, that's for certain. Gerald, I love you. I love you too. You see Huck in the background with their, like, wing arms just crossed, looking, like, glaring at Tom. <laughs> Back in the present, I look at this pattern of lasers, and it reminds me of the pattern on the dance floor. <laughs> Jumping through those lasers. Go ahead and move a point into criminal. Cool. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and use criminal. Uh, and you can fly uh, as well through this. So go ahead and oh, roll yeah. twice. Ooh, ooh. Uh, two. Two. It's just like that night on the wedding floor. The moving bodies, the turning love, the absolute drunken mess. And you duck, dip, dive, and weave your way through. And you land on the other side with some tears in your eyes for the times gone by the family that you have made along the way. You're on the other side. Y'all coming or not? I can't do that. I flash back. Back to the Winter Olympics 2018. (laughs) (laughs) What? <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> I mean, I I was watching the ice skating, <laughs> and I remember all these moves, and especially the duck part, and hopefully. I could use it in the future, especially I have dreams of becoming an ice skater. <laughs> and follow those dreams. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Je m'appelle <laughs> Sun Green. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, thank you. And we're back in the present. <laughs> oh, I move a point into criminal. <laughs> Alright guys, are you coming? <laughs> so Tammy, are you trying to skate your way through? <laughs> Turkeys on ice. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh so Tammy, are you trying to skirt your way through the lasers? Uh using your new f- your newly remembered uh Winter Olympic skills? Yes. Alright, go ahead and roll for some criminal. Four. Alrighty. Uh what's your current stat at? Um, criminal for turkey two. Okay, perfect. So yeah, you just elegantly skirt your way through. You have you have all never seen a turkey be so graceful or so fluid on metal before. Like there are claw marks in the metal itself, but she is just going for it, doing a triple arabesque and landing perfectly right beside Franklin. I wish you were my kid. Dad, I thought we were like, I thought we were on a good. Uh, Doesn't so, mean you can't disappoint me, Tom. Oh my God. Oh. Is there a keypad on this side of the lasers? Uh, yes, there is. Um, I'm just gonna haphazardly peck at it. <laughs> As you just randomly are pecking <laughs> at numbers, go ahead and roll turkey. Try Huck. Yeah, that's a fail. You you peck into it, constantly going from number to number, just incorrect password. Incorrect password. Incorrect password. Self-destruct sequence now active. Thank you. Have a safe day. Who's disappointing who now? I'm allowed to disappoint you, Tom. I'm your dad. What? <laughs> As you see, it's starting to count down. 20 minutes. And that is where we'll go on break. Ooh, gobble, 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 gobble. 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 I'm so close to going crazy.
When we last left off, our turkeys had made their way into the wine cellar slash safe room of the Eagleton Manor. There they had encountered a long hallway filled with a lot of different lasers. Franklin, being elegant on flight, managed to weave his way through remembering a fond wedding day of his son Tom and his son-in-law, Gerald. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tammy, remembering back to the Winter Olympics of 2018, <laughs> managed to ice skate her way on the metal ground, doing a beautiful arabesque and landing on the other side. Franklin, not wanting to wait up for Huck and Tom, who had proven themselves to be disappointments, decided to peck in at the keypad, hoping to disable the lasers. But Franklin himself proved to be the disappointment. But he says fathers are allowed to do that. As the self-destruct sequence has been activated, and the turkeys now only have 20 minutes to grab Gerald and escape. What are you all doing? All right, the big question is, do we still have lasers in front of us? Lasers are still in front of you. All right, I'm going to grab Huck and I'm going to throw him to like above the lasers. Why are we doing this again? Go ahead and roll some muscle. Uh, turkey muscle. All right, my lowest was two. 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 All right. So is that a success, I'm assuming? I don't uh, it is a success. Uh, do I okay. get a point in turkey? Uh, and with with your sheer manpower strength, you just turkey power. crunch your beak. Turkey power. <laughs> and you <laughs> chuck him over. No! Uh, yeah, you get you get a point in turkey for that. Uh, Huck, as you fly through screaming, you land on the other side unscathed. All right. And now I'm I'm on the it's them on the other side of the lasers and I'm on yep. okay I'm gonna flash back to a conversation that I had with my dear friend Jan and my beloved Gerald. 
Guys. No. <laughs> we're all si- we're all sitting in my in my house, my coop, with uh, the one I bought with Gerald with our with our retirement money. So um, really, it's our house at this point, huh? <laughs> Gerald, I'm sorry. You're right. What's mine is yours. Okay, Jan, we're we're happy you came over, um, to to see the new the new place. But of course, uh, I am your guest. Your guest and your services to the test. <laughs> I don't know what you just said. <laughs> you having a stroke there, honey? Do you need some ice? Are, are you okay? Do you need to lie down? We got pillows. No, I, I am, I am fine. I uh, thank you for having me in your coop. Post, yeah. All right. Well, now I'm going to segue into have you guys ever seen a bunch of like lasers and you don't know how to get across them? What what do you think is the best way to do that? I think the best way is to just run headlong first and hope for the best. Just run straight through it. <laughs> just I... run. Run away from your problems. Gerald, what what do you think about this? Well, I'm inclined to agree there with Jan. Uh, if you see some pretty lights, you might as well run to- towards them. Run right towards them. Right, right, right. Yeah. Do not let your problems ever catch up to you. You keep running until they are gone. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, while we're here, I'm just going to put these two... <laughs> these two extra rounds of ammo in, in my bag if I ever need them in the future. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Great job. You will never and betray maybe, me. <laughs> maybe this grenade, this turkey grenade, I'm just going to take that too. <laughs> <laughs> and All as right. I said, we are friends forever. You will never betray me. Fantastic. Anyway. <laughs> Jan, you know what? I was just talking to my friend Rex, and he really wants to meet you someday. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> you yeah, you'll, you'll really enjoy each other. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm going to go back to the future now. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm Huck. I'm here too. What is this is my portal gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to gear up. I'm going to kind of get into a runner stance, but I'm a turkey. So my wings are on the ground and I got one, one crow leg, whatever those weird legs. Do we have those weird legs or is it like, no, they, they're chunky because they're like turkey legs at Disney World. So I got my chunky legs ready and I'm going to just go Someone... for Gerald and I'm going to start running right through the, right through the laser beams. Go ahead and roll turkey and you're, as you're muscling your way through it, go ahead and roll with two. Colin, what do you think a turkey leg is? Um, it's it's the leg of a turkey. <laughs> Are you uh-huh. thinking of the uh-huh. ones that you eat? Yes, like the, the ones that just... you eat. That's, that's <laughs> the ones that you eat at Disneyland, right? <laughs> okay, okay, I got I got a two. <laughs> You all watch as Tom <laughs> just beefs himself up and just starts screaming as he starts running through the lasers. He is ducking left and right, and you notice that one rogue laser manages to hit him as he just punches it right into the wall as it breaks before it can deal any damage, and he barrels through the rest of them, joining you on the other side. Are you saying that I punched a laser away from me? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Oh! <laughs> was that criminal or turkey? That was turkey. Okay. <laughs> I want to go up to Tom. Listen here, Tom. I have two things to say to you. Number one, if you throw me one more time, then that'll be three times that you've thrown me today, which seems like the perfect number of times to throw me. So you can do it one more time. Four times? That's too many, but three seems like the perfect amount of times for this to happen. Number two, do you have any seed? Yeah. That's throw seed on the ground. Father, if it's not a disappointing seed, feel free to eat some. What? I was talking to my dad. That was unclear. 
Oh, sorry. I, because I said father at the beginning. I thought maybe it was pretty clear. You think that every time you say the word father, I'm listening? Wait, no, but I thought you were saying you were my father. <laughs> That hurt. Oh my god. After this, we need like a family therapy session. Uh, yeah, if we get there. Yeah. Tim, do the thing with the points. Yep. Good. Yep. Yep. Oh no, that's right. That's right. I flash back to me as a baby turkey, my father. Dad, do you love me? You're gonna You are going to kill yourself doing this joke if you keep flashing back. <laughs> no, I'm riding the middle of the line. It's okay. <laughs> you all now see that there is about 18 minutes left before the self-destruct sequence activates, whatever that means. We gotta get you Gerald. stand before a large metal door. Uh, there is uh, a palm scanner and a retinal scanner on it. Are there any people nearby? Uh, the only other person um, is currently Hillary in the... Uh, wine cellar portion of the safe room securing the C4. Uh, no one else is around immediately, but you can hear uh, the sound of rich people crying from the other side of this door. Ooh, what does it sound like? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the poor! <laughs> <laughs> I go to the earpiece that I still have. Hey, guys, it's Chad. Over. Hey, Chad, it's also Chad Sup over. Oh, my God. I feel like a total idiot over. Dude, welcome to my life. Over. So, um, I need help getting this door open over, and I, I'm just, I'm having a total brain fart. Can you guys come over and help us? Over. You said a lot of overs, so I, like, stopped paying attention, and then I had to start again. Which door are you talking about, over? The big... <laughs> the big metal door. You know that big metal door. Ah, uh, the over. big metal door. Yeah, yeah. No, we're on the other side, man. Just, like, put in your security code, over. What is the security code, over? I'm... S I'm sorry, I just took a lot of edibles, and I just, like, it's that kind of a day. Over. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll criminal to lie and get the code. Three. Uh, success or failure? I... Uh, success. Okay, perfect. Uh, you hear chat over the walkie-talkie? Yeah, man, of course. It's one, two, three, four, five. Ah. Uh. Classic. Oh. Over. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much, Chad. Over. Good talking to you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Over. All right. Can someone press one, two, three, four, five? Puck, you're the buttons guy. I can hack it. Is it, is it really hacking if you know the password? <laughs> yes, Tom. I just, I feel like maybe that's not quite, I, you know what, I'm going to leave you to it. <laughs> Don't tell me the definition of the thing that I do, Tom! Huck, what, can I, can I pull Huck aside real quick? What's this animosity, man? <laughs> I don't know I feel like talking. ever since we met, you just really haven't given me much of a chance. Uh, I flash back. <laughs> to the wedding <laughs> and uh, I'm yeah sure I'm talking Jan it's just <laughs> like I just feel like my brother and I have drifted so far apart ever since he met Tom well. I'm very happy that he's happy but I miss the way things used to be 
I understand uh, this amour is very confusing. Um, I did introduce your brother to uh, Tom, though, and I must tell you, Tom, Tom would never betray me, but he would betray you. Tom is a sneaky bastard. <laughs> he would betray you. All so right. maybe keep that in mind and just, you know, be on your guard and stuff. He so would never you... betray me, but you. Yeah, he does. So, yeah. So what I'm hearing is <laughs> always keep Tom at an arm's length and don't ever get close to him because then I cannot be hurt. That is exactly what I am saying. Indeed. You are. We, we, we. <laughs> you are truly a font of wisdom, Jan. <laughs> 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 It's nothing, Tom. I put the code in the button. I put the the, the, <laughs> the code in the button. That that's staying. <laughs> it's okay. Staying. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been unclapped. The clap has been denied. Man, I wish I had that power in college. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> That's our show, everyone. Thanks for listening. <laughs> All right. Okay, some some, some people ending. gotta make some phone calls. <laughs> I am so sorry. Actually, the state can do that for you. Ooh. I didn't know that. <laughs> Not that I'd use it. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing your combination. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. As you put in the combination, flashback, uh, move the points over from uh, turkey to criminal. Uh, but you enter in the code uh, quick as you can, and the safe opens. As you look inside, you can see uh, a few of the guards standing there with guns. The large cage with the turkey inside of it, as uh, Lord Byron stands there, sobbing with a bib, a fork, and a knife, as he is just saying, I cannot possibly eat this undercooked turkey. That's a monstrosity. My day is ruined. I'm going in with the gun. The guards all look at you as the door opens. You see one, um, he has like the most perfectly coiffed hair and just looks like a 10 out of 10 knockout, but there is just nothing behind his eyes. You can tell he has not had a thought in centuries. As he turns and says, Whoa. Look at turkeys, man. That's cool. What y'all cuties doing here? He gets down, like, right up in your face, Tom. Is this Chad? This is Chad. That's Chad. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna oh. put my, sh my, head, my wing on Chad's shoulder and be like, gobble gobble. That means thank you. And I'm gonna shoot him in the face. No. <laughs> <laughs> He is not expecting it. He is vulnerable to it, so you just take out your gun as he just looks down. Wait, who gave the... <laughs> as he falls down to the ground. Oh my god, Chad! Says one of the guards as they all turn their guns onto you. This has become a very hostile situation. What are you all doing? I put both my wings up. And I say, uh, stop. We're here. We're here to just hang out with y'all. It's time for turkeys and humans to be one in my best impression of a human. You, like, literally just shot our friend in front of us. What the fuck kind of peace talk is that? I'm just saying he, he, you know, this is my son, Tom. You know how sons disappoint you. He did it just now, disappointed me. And maybe I'm acting out for your attention, dad. <laughs> Shut up, Tom. <sighs> Does somebody want to use the headpiece and maybe? Oh, yeah. Let me, let me use the headpiece. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I toss the headpiece to Franklin. Okay. Hey, everyone. Tim, so, I'm sorry. I, I shot your friend, by the way. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just in a very weird space right now. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. This is my son, Tom. He's a disappointment to me and to all of you for shooting this, this, uh, this guard here. Uh, I would like to apologize for that and just say that we're here as a peace offering. So, uh, 
uh, we, we can all hang out. Turkeys, humans, as one. Go ahead and do a roll criminal. Do I get face? You do get face. Hey, uh, that meets. Alrighty. You see the guards, and as they start just shaking their head, no, you, like, literally just murdered someone in front of us. Like, he was my best friend. I think I was gonna marry him. I was gonna marry him. Oh. And you see Lord Byron as he stands up. If there's one thing I know in this life, it's how disappointing children are. They are the Worst, and why do we have them? I pants him again. Roll for turkey. Fail. <laughs> As you try to pants him, his foot just instinctually goes out and kicks you square in the jaw. <laughs> Huck, my brother! I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to shoot him in the foot. Not hot. Roll. <laughs> Roll for criminal. Use muscle or break law. Either way, it's illegal. <laughs> All right, that is a three. Three. Is it success or failure? I don't know. Success. You Sorry, I'm. A... It's all good. Uh, yeah, you shoot him in the foot as he just screams out. Ah! The Xanax will kick in soon enough. Did you just have an orgasm? No, that was pain! That was a really weird sound, and you understand turkey? <laughs> you have a communicator device. He, uh, doesn't. They don't. Sorry. I took a course in college. Oh. You see as uh, Lord Byron, holding his bloody foot, takes out a kitchen knife, and Tom, he is running straight for you. I'd he like is going to, for blood. I'd like to shoot him again. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. And did you remove a point into criminal already? Yes. Alrighty. Go ahead. And I'm in my last you. stand here. Almost. Almost. I'm at a okay. forty-two. All right. So uh, roll with breaking law. Yeah, breaking law. Yes. All right, and I got a one. Alrighty. You shoot him again. This time, square right in between the eyes, as he is running for you with the knife and the. Uh, shot just goes off and he falls to his knees and then just flat down in his face. As you see from behind, uh, as you look behind you, you see Hillary standing there as she is holding the detonator in her hand and she just goes, Rest in hell, Dad. Uh, the guards at this point all just kind of back away and then just kind of shrug as they go, well, there goes my paycheck. Yeah, this has been a weird day on the job. Like, oh my god, do you want to get married? Like, oh my god, yes. As they just start casually meandering their way outside of the mansion. You are left now only with, uh, with the cage here. And Gerald's still wrapped up inside. Quick point of order, did I move a point for failing just now? Ah, uh, yes, that would go into frustration. Good. Uh, and, uh, Tom, your plan went off smoothly once again. Uh, go ahead and move it into criminal. Alright. Uh, so we can just get, we can get Tom out now? Uh, Tom is still in a heavily guarded No, cage. no, Gerald, I'm Tom. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom is in the cage of social constructs of his life, and what he wants to be versus what he is. But Gerald is in a very literal cage, uh, with uh, thick iron bars and complex coating, um, and the timer on the self-destruct sequence set now for ten minutes left. What are you all doing? Uh, will Lady a does Lady Eagleton have a way to help us? Uh, with with her dad dead, she's just also meandering out. Ah, good. Cool. Gerald, are you okay? <laughs> Gerald, I can't understand you. Oh. oh, I see that now that you've moved your head slightly. There's a gag in your mouth. Oh. Okay. 
Huck, you need to hack this thing. One final hack. Maybe. As you go up to it, Huck, uh, you can tell that this is a triple encoded double helix sequence lock. One of the hardest locks to crack. Child's play. Go ahead and roll for some criminal. I will once again enter the in turkey net using all of my skills. Two that's. Oh, turkey? I meant criminal. It passes either way, actually. I got a two. Nice. My bad. You quickly set up your hacking rig. You go into the in turkey net and you break through the code busters. You crack open the crack toys. You make your way through this run like it was nothing. And you guys see as the ominous red lighting on the cage turns green and the door swings open. You see Gerald as he slowly hops his way out. I removed the gag. Tom. Gerald. Came for me. Jerry Bear. You see his neck throttle just expand. Mine expands as well. <laughs> We're all in the room, guys. Guys, let's just get out of here before, you know. This whole place has to go down. We gotta go. <laughs> you all start running out of this place. Uh, and you can tell that you have um, two minutes left on the clock as you are making a break for it. You run up the stairs, out of the dining room, and into the grand foyer where you see Rex standing there. Hey, Tom. Deal's changed. I got hungry again. We have a literal gun! <laughs> I cock my gun. Wait, wait, everybody, wait. I flash back <laughs> to my childhood <laughs> when I first learned, when I first learned how uh, to be a, a turkey thief, uh, when I hung out in the backyard of a mansion, much like this mansion, where there was a dog, much like this dog, and that dog and I were buds as we would sneak into the kitchen every Friday night and eat the leftovers of any meat that was available because turkeys are omnivores and can eat meat. And I think about how dogs really like meat uh, and I use that memory back in the future. Hey, Rex. What? You know, I think it's time that we, uh, you know, we, we made a deal, given that we're both, you know, subjugated by the humans in some ways. I think I want to invite you out to a steak dinner. Go ahead and roll for some criminal. Also, go ahead and move a point into criminal. Beauty. Oh, that is a failure. I don't think so, Franklin. I'm a good boy. And he starts running at you, teeth bared, as he bites down. What are y'all doing? Dad! Uh, what's... Oh, okay, what room are we in right now? Uh, you are in the foyer. The only thing standing between you and the outside is Rex. Is there food anywhere in the room? Yeah. Uh, it is right next to the dining room where there are a bunch of hors d'oeuvres scattered along the ground. I, the foyer itself? No. I run into the dining room. I'm mm -hmm. looking for chocolate. Yep, there's a, there was a there was a dessert bar. I go and I grab like a chocolate like a, a chocolate mousse. Okay. And I run back in. Hey Pooch. You you hungry for? I bet you've never had this before. Yeah, it smells good. 
doesn't it? Roll for handle a uh, difficult situation. Uh, criminal. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Four. That passes. You see his tail wag and his ears perk up as he runs over and just downs the chocolate mousse. Before two seconds later, he just, he starts whimpering. His tail goes in between his legs as he starts vomiting. You guys have bought yourself some time to get around him. Thanks, Huck. You're like a son to me. God damn it! You know that. <laughs> it's okay, sweetie. We can talk about this later. Man, just this every time I just, you know. <laughs> I know. He, he undermines you to get under your skin. We know this. I'm gonna go to oh, therapy dear. this week. <laughs> you all start running out of the mansion. And just as you pass the threshold, you guys hear from deep below. You all start running out of the mansion as you hear from below. And just as you narrowly escape the threshold of the mansion, you see it ignite into flames as it just erupts. You hear the sound of rich people sobbing and dying inside. Ah, fuck the poor. Ah, I have so much money. Oh my god, who will watch my yacht? <laughs> Wait, I thought there weren't any people left. <laughs> they we're, were not going to blow up a house full of rich people without rich people inside it. Oh. That would defeat the purpose. <laughs> As you all run out onto the front lawn and back to the precipice of the forest, you turn around as you see Hillary looking at the mansion smile on her face. She turns to you all and just gives a slight nod. Hit me up next time you do a heist. It's been fun. She hops into a Ferrari and drives away into the sunset. As you all make your way back home to your nest. I want to tell Tom something before we get home. Yes, Dad? Absolutely. Tom, look. Now that you got Gerald back, I just, uh, just want to tell you that, uh, I think it's time that, uh, I, uh, retired to the, to the nest upstate. You know what? Uh, what, what do you think I mean? I was gonna left, leave it unsaid. I thought it might be dramatic. Yeah. Well, Tom, uh, I just wanted to, to give you this. And uh, I hand him uh, uh, in my turkey wallet that I keep with me at all times. Uh, I open it up, take out a small photograph from a Polaroid camera that I uh, slapped my wing on one time. Uh, and it is a photo of Tom as an egg. I give that to him. So, Tom, I just want you to know that I've... I love you. I love you. Okay. Oh, I, uh... I, I love you, too. Cool. All right, bye, uh, Dad. Bye, Tom. Bye. Bye. I actually so wanted to talk to Tom... What's up, Huck? I go up to Tom and Gerald, and I'm like, You know, Tom, I think I learned something about you back there. I always, you know, I don't like the way you are. I don't like the way you talk. I don't like the way you think. I don't like the way you look very much. Are, you, go are you getting to a point here? Because this right. is just hurtful. Yeah. Um, I think what I've realized about you is that you're just like a insecure little loser who's acts out all the time because he really desperately needs people to pay attention to him. And I can understand that. And I respect that about you, Tom. Damn. You really cut to the core there, boy. 
I meant to say buddy, I meant to say boy. <laughs> you realized I, I married Tom because I love him, yeah? I know, Gerald. It's just... Sometimes I miss the way things were. Tammy says to herself, I want to go to fucking therapy. How about we all have some feed? And I throw some feed on the ground. In celebration. Of getting our land back, and also Gerald. Yeah. I'm gonna to eat the feed. Hey, uh, just out of curiosity, wh where's Jan? And then I flash back. <laughs> <laughs> to when? To when you killed me? <laughs> Earlier in the episode? <laughs> you want to recreate what we did step by step again? <laughs> I'd like to flash back to right, right, right when I told you about this. I'm, you're in, you're in a, a coop, and I burst, and I'm like, Jan, they took Gerald. Who, who took Gerald? I don't know. Some rich people. Probably gonna have to blow him up. Okay, we will set them on fire. Yes, perfect. Uh, Jan, I want to let you know before we go into this. This is probably gonna be our last mission. Oh, you mean you are going to die? I, I, I will never die. I always run too fast. I will never die. It will never happen. Jan, that that cockiness and absolutely big-headedness is why no, I'm I trust too you fast. so much. I'm too yes. fast for death. You are too fast for death, which is why your guard is always down. Yes, Perfect. correct. <laughs> that is correct. So, we Fantastic. go kill these people now. Oh, wow. It is turn full Russian. <laughs> It's just full Russian now. <laughs> Jan, at the beginning of this, I thought you were French. I'm not quite sure if I trust you much anymore. Your your accent keeps changing. It is a foreign <laughs> Turkey accent, so it can be many accents at <laughs> once. It can once. be many accents at once. <laughs> that is how the Turkey speak. <laughs> well, Jan, you know what? You're my best friend. And if I ever betray you, it's because I have a darn good reason. I do not believe that. You will never betray me because any reason would be a bad reason. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yes. You would never betray me because it would haunt you for the rest of your life. And you know I will come back as a ghost and I will haunt you. Yeah. You know, I feel like if I ever did betray <laughs> you, I would have constant flashbacks to mo moments with you and me talking. <laughs> like, I would just constantly be in memories of You would. You would constantly be haunted by the memory of Jean. Consistently, I would be, <laughs> I would be memorized, me mesmerized by the memories. <laughs> That I have memorized. Right, so are we going to go and kill these humans now? We should get going. I mean, yeah, how should, long has should... it been? We have been in this hot, this hot, uh, chick, chicken, no, turkey coop. Turkey coop. I think <laughs> For like right. 30 minutes now. Yeah, we, we must go. go. We should go. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I don't really know where Jan went. Uh... <laughs> I flash back to the first time I ever saw Tom do a flashback. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gerald. <laughs> Hey, Jan, why is Tom just staring into the middle distance like that? <laughs> oh, he does that sometimes. It's like he's not even paying attention to us. Also, Gerald, I just want to say you're my brother and also the most important personal relationship I have. I feel like I haven't talked about that enough. It's almost like I've been focusing on other relationships. <laughs> you know, but sometimes I relationships take other turns, and that's okay. We can. We're still brothers, and we always will be. Get a divorce, Gerald. I will <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Jan. Who knows? I mean, she's such a wild card, really. Oh. She's she's really fast. Did you know that? She's super fast. Hey, what was that uh, thing she... that dog said about a deal? <laughs> 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 Wait, this whole thing was flashback? And now flash forward to me and Gerald <laughs> as old turkeys. <laughs> Just Gerald. <laughs> Gerald, remember the time that we had to save you from that 
from that place. Oh, that was quite traumatic and so many months ago. Yep. I still love that you came for me. You ever think we'll see Jan on the road someday? Yeah, I'm, no, I'm sure that Jan is still alive and well. <laughs> oh, good. Tammy's just gonna walk just far away from them. <laughs> oh. Hey, Tom. Hey, Gerald. It's been several months since that job we did together. And, Tom, I just want to say I love you a whole lot now. We've been through a lot of therapy together. Also, I'm running for president now. Vote for me! A few months after the uh, events at the mansion <laughs> where the <laughs> mansion blew up, uh, Franklin thinks back to the last job that he ever did as he is lying on his bed of hay uh, alone, dying. And in his last breath, he says, I miss my husband too. What? Franklin! Franklin's coming to the light! Franklin! Tom killed me! Just so you know! And so, the turkey's tale ends here. As they've all learned valuable lessons on this, the day of gratitude. That at the end of the day, family is the most important thing. Whether they be hackers, in denial, in need of severe therapy, or murderous traitors who will go off the rails immediately. And they all hold the lessons deep in their heart. That if they are ever to have family gatherings, always be sure to invite the family member who has access to a lot of C4 and the crazy means to use them. The and what the fuck <laughs> 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 <laughs>